Hi friends, uh, this is your Brenda Boy Dinesh. Today I am going to show you how to make uh, potato chips or like that, uh, like a chip bag. So let's start. <coughs> so add a mesh, plain mesh. So rotate that on long x axis 90 degrees and go to the phone view from view and grab that one to the top g along the vertex is and type 1 enter now go to the go to the edit mode now i need some segments here vertically so go for loop cut so click this loop cut type uh, i need for i need an odd number so type 49 segments and click here okay and go to the <coughs> selection and select the top uh, vertices now go to the select uh, menu and click uh, checker deselect checker deselect now just uh, grab those selected uh, vertices along this attack uh, along this attack is g to z like this so this is the way <coughs> we are going to create a, a top uh, of the bag now add a add a loop cut here this area go to the loop cut again and change the number to one we need one loop cut so one and click and drag here and it's uh, not a straight one so <coughs> change it into straight line so scale it along the vertex this type uh, 0 and enter now ok it's straight and add another loop cut and, uh, here so this area is the I'm not as big it's a uh, what the opener or sealer sealer of uh, this sealing area of this uh, pack now I am going to add uh, 5 segments so I need to add uh, 4 loop cuts again so type here 4 and click here click. Now it's fine now let's add uh, some loop, cut, loop cuts again one by one so type 1 we need a loop cut here and leave that again here and leave that again here now select those uh, <coughs> loop cuts select and shift alt click shift alt click now ok and rotate some bit here and grab those uh, lines along y axis grab along y axis okay. I think it's too much so grab it again along okay <coughs> uh, this is enough it's uh yes and add another loop cut somewhere here let's add one click and drag some like ceiling area is okay now again add uh, loop cuts here before I add loop cut let's check the packet size and change it so go to the wireframe mode for safety select the select the top area 
uh, what it says it's like square so select this grab along the attack this that here grab it again that okay it's enough now go to the <coughs> loop cut loop cut and change the number of cuts uh, whatever you like uh, just like 50 and click here now it's okay yeah fine go to the object mode here you can see only uh, one side uh, of the bag is only one side of the bag. Uh, downside, bottom side, we didn't add uh, that uh, zip, uh, zip, uh, zip area. So we will uh, do it later by using uh, mirror uh, modifier. So we need to add this side of the bag. This is a single plane, no? so we need to add another side of the bag and we need to give. Uh, AR into that back. So before we add that other side by using mirror or uh, modifier, we need some space between those uh, both sides. So let's uh, move a little bit uh, from the from the axis. So go to the right view and go to the edit mode. Don't move don't uh, move this uh, object in object mode okay if you move in object mode the cursor the 3d cursor also will move so don't forget to do that just go to the edit mode and select all type a and move in edit mode okay so to do that don't use uh, yeah, object properties to move don't use that one just go to the right view in uh, edit mode and zoom here you can see 10 centimeters so zoom zoom and see it uh, move here zoom zoom again zoom until you can until you see the millimeter so okay so let's move this uh, selected vertices or uh, this way uh, just uh, one box is enough the space we need space we need the space with, between two sides of the back so move along the y-axis little bit one box grab y this way it's enough Enough. So let's check the th 3D cursor. Try to zoom. Go to another 3D cursor. Zoom. You can see 3D cursor didn't move. So leave it. That's all. That's what we need. Now let's add a mirror modifier. Let's go to the mirror modifier. In our initial stage, we rotate this plane. No? So when we apply the mirror modifier, the mirror ob uh, object will uh, come to this way or something somewhere. So let's uh, check. Go to the media modifier properties and add a modifier click the mirror modifier okay click the mirror modifier mirror tick the y axis and tick untick the x now you can see that 
Now it came here. So go to the object mode and give, uh, press Ctrl A and uh, click this rotation. Ctrl A, click the rotation. Now it's okay. And then to check, yeah, you can see both sides of the bags. So there's a gap we moved and the gap just we need. Okay, you can see. Now we need to join the edges of the bag. So the otherwise we cannot add uh, yeah no so let's join this gap. In order to join this gap we can extrude the edges. Okay. So select the edges around the bag. So go to the edit mode and uh, click somewhere there and shift alt click again top edges shift alt click beside shift alt click and bottom also we can do it later the bottom side by using mirror object so now for now uh, seal the edges shift alt it's okay. Now we need to extrude these edges only. Wait a minute. Now, uh, if we move these uh, edges to extrude extrusion somewhere here, if we need to move, let me show that. Just type E to extrude, and here and uh, Y axis. You see the uh, vertices are overlapping. You see. We cannot control that. So in order to control the vertices, to clip those vertices along the axis, we need to tick the clipping in the mirror modifier. So okay, and tick the clipping here. Just tick. Now see, extrude along Y. You see, now it's perfect. Here this way. It's clipped. So now, now we have sealed the edges. So we can add uh, wind, add AI inside. So okay, it's perfect. Now uh, we need to add uh, cloth simulation. Uh, I will show you. If we add uh, the cloth simulation, if we add this, uh, add a cloth simulation to this object, uh, due to the gravity, because uh, default gravity is one in this uh, cloth simulation, so due to the gravity, the cloth will fall down. So, and uh, we need uh, the gravity as one because when we add uh, air the gravity will pull down this bag so it's a uh, it's perfect to look uh, like a real bag real pack so we need that gravity so uh, therefore we can do another thing just we can pin somewhere here with uh, in order to uh, stop the fall down so we can pin somewhere here so let's select the pin points as and we don't need uh, air this area okay it's a ceiling area sealed area so 
we don't need AR here. So go to the wireframe mode and select the top area. So we cannot select uh, here, no. So go to the front view and select what we need to clean. Select uh, here. Uh, okay. Select uh, this area and uh, let's pin those things. So, in order to pin those things, those uh, vertices, we need to go to these uh, properties, uh, object data properties, and click there. We need to add uh, vertex groups. So, click here. If you want to change the name, you can change, otherwise, leave it. After add uh, this vertex group, just assign those things. Okay don't forget to assign just assign now it's fine and uh, weight is one it's okay and uh, if you want to assign another uh, weight is you select there and uh, change the weight number also you, you can change uh, for now leave it mm. okay we have assigned now we need to apply uh, cloth simulation. Okay, so go to the physics properties and select the all type A and click uh, cloth simulation. Now we have applied cloth simulation, but uh, we didn't uh, apply the uh, in group so let's check the cloth simulation works or not so just click this play button in object mode in the wireframe play yeah cloth simulation is work gravity also there so go to the first and <coughs> pin uh, assign the pin group in the shape Close the settings and go to the shape menu and click the group. Now, okay, so let's play again. It's not moving, but no idea within inside this uh, bag. So, let's uh, give the air by using pressure. We can use a uh, force field, but uh, force field didn't give me a good uh, realistic view so just uh, let's add a pressure take this pressure and add uh, five let me show you and play here yeah pressure is working you see the gravity is uh, pulled down this back here. so okay let's uh, rotate this back uh, Yes. Stop and right click shade smooth. Now check. That's okay. And uh, let's play. Uh, okay. This is not enough to for me. I think it's not enough. So let's add uh, pressure into fifteen and check again wait mm. yeah, it's perfect i think okay this is the place i want so stop um, Yes, it's perfect. <coughs> so in this position, 101 for me. In this position, I'm going to apply the cloth simulation. So okay, here go to the modifier properties, and here you need to apply the mirror modifier first. Otherwise, it will not work. So apply the mirror modifier. 
and again apply this cloth now it's okay okay now change uh, some color let let me change to this view rendering view then change apply material and add a new material change the base color into like before that we wait a bit and uh, reduce the roughness Uh, it's black, uh, it's a dark color because uh, we don't have any light there. So, go to material preview, come here. Okay. Uh, this is material preview. Uh, if you want to change the color, you can change. Any color you can change. Let me change. Sorry, guys. Uh, okay, this is this is fine for me. Now we need to add a bottom area also. So before that, let's. Uh, Add uh, if you want, add some uh, subdivision surface to make it it's too sharp. No, so let's check. Add subdivision surface, that's fine, but uh, okay, let's. Let's add some add some loop cuts to make small sharper. So edit mode and add a loop cut here and move. Uh, wait a minute, guys. Control Z, zoom it. Control it, zoom. It. Now. Okay, this way. Let's add. Oh wait, we need to change the number of cuts. So, so number of cuts into one. And make this okay, like that. This side. Yes. And Yeah, it's perfect like that. Yeah. It's fine. <clears throat> okay. It's fine. Wait. If you don't like this uh, area, you can smooth uh, in uh, 
you can smoke in uh, sculpt mode go to the sculpt mode and uh, here this one you can smooth here click and drag if you want let me show you something here you can smooth like that so i don't want that one go to that. okay go to the now I apply this subdivision okay next one we need to add uh, here the uh, seal uh, seal area also so let's uh, remove this uh, bottom area uh, wait a minute before we apply this uh, material there's another way to check here yeah, this way you no know, material shave uh, shading point point uh, port and click this one and go to here this arrow and Tick this map cut and here you can change to check each and every materials you can check like this way or this way yeah perfect so this is fine better than uh, that color so leave it <laughs> so now let's delete this uh, bottom area so we have applied the subdivision surface so there's a problem to select uh, these lines let's check go to the edit mode we need to select these lines let's check see uh, these lines also are selected so because we, we applied the subdivision surface that's the problem so leave it this if these lines are not selected we can select uh, gradually this way uh, like uh, control plus if you click control plus you can select but uh, we have applied that uh, subdivision survey so this this method of selection will not help us so go to the front view and Tick the wireframe mode. So, unfortunately, we need to <laughs> delete like this. Uh, this is the problem. Okay. Select carefully. It's, uh, okay. mm -hmm. Yeah, here I think it's. Yeah, here it's okay. Now, now delete by vertices. Now it's okay. Go to the edit mode, leave the wireframe mode. Now let's apply mirror modifier to this half uh, back. So modifier properties and go to the go to the mirror modifier and z axis and clip it. Now go to the okay, now go to the front view 
here the we need to change this one because we are going to clip that so it's easy so right click set origin to 3d cursor now it's okay and go to the edit mode yeah. select wireframe mode select all no problem just type a and grab along the text escape let me zoom that one now grab along along the text and come near And select these first lines. Shift Alt click and extrude to join. And that okay. Uh, Now it's okay. And go to the side view. It's uh, like bluffy, uh, so go to leave the wireframe mode. Okay. Now go to Just uh, scale it down. Scale along along y axis. So y along okay. y axis. It's okay. If you see like this, you can smooth uh, say, share this. Shape smooth. Leave the XX. Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> it uh, mirrored in XX, XX also. So, right. okay. uh, it's perfect. Scale okay. Y. Now, now if you don't want to see this uh, line, just go to the go to the uh, sculpt mode and smooth. Just just you can let's check in edit mode. Then you can move those things. Sculpt mode. Okay. Okay. Great. Uh, great. it uh, that's fine uh, next thing we need to add uh, uh, if you want to add some logos materials whatever you can add by using uh, UV editing method so I will show it in my next uh, second part of this video so
please guys subscribe me and share this thank you